and welcome to this tutorial on InStore Radio's online control panel. This control panel allows you to change every aspect of your custom radio station's music and ad mix, letting you perfect your customer's experience and giving them all the information they need to be raving fans and informed shoppers. So let's get started. As you can see, this is your profile. This is actually the profile for the Goodwill Industries of Northern Arizona. This is their master account. We're going to use this as a, as a, as a good example of a, of a master account. There are two types of accounts, master accounts and individual store accounts. Uh, I'll go into detail about that a little bit later. But for the, for the most part, master accounts basically change everything in all of your stores all at once. And so we're going to go over the master account first because this is the one you're going to use the most. So... You can see obviously at the top there's a save your changes button. At the very bottom of the page there's also a save your changes button so wherever you happen to be on the page you'll be able to save your changes quick. You got to make sure you save your changes before you end the page but we'll go through that here in a minute. So below that there are four tabs. Let's go through these real quick. First one is music preferences. This tab allows you to change all aspects of the music that's playing in your show. The second one is ads and jingles and this allows you to make changes to your commercials. Player, this is supposed to list the player that is playing on your profile, but since this is a uh, master profile, you won't have any players listed here. Why is that? Uh, <clears throat> because in this case, since we're dealing with a master profile, you don't have any players associated with the profile because the other profiles which control each of your specific locations will use this profile as the basis of their show. Any changes you make to the master profile will affect all of the radios attached to this profile. However, any changes you make to a store-specific profile will only change at that specific store. Makes sense, right? Finally, your data. So we uh, we need you to, I would encourage you to make some changes as soon as you log into your account. Make these changes first. These are important. First and most importantly, the company name. We would ask that you not change this. Please do not change this. We use this to sort uh, and to identify all of our customers, which one's a master account, which ones are store specific accounts. So if you do not change this, we would be very, very happy. But the rest of the fields we'd like you to enter. Kind of business is not very important. That number is not very important. Those are things for some of our European customers. But the rest of them, address, city, zip code, contact person, and email, if you would fill those out right away, we'd appreciate it. And since this is the master account, for the master account, please fill in the address, city, zip code of your headquarters, uh, the contact person that we would contact at headquarters to talk to them about your uh, your. Uh, account and their email and phone number. That would be fantastic. Um, we would love it if you'd check yes and sign up for the, the newsletter too, but you may get some uh, information. Uh, you'll get some information from us about what's new with in-store radio. That would be great. Uh, and on the right-hand side, change your password. We've sent you a pretty basic password um, and it's very easily kind of hacked by someone who wanted to. So we would recommend that you put in your old password here at the top and add in a new password, retype that password here, save those changes. Just, it, make sure it's a password you obviously will remember that your organization can easily understand but might not be very easily uh, hacked or, uh, or, or discovered by somebody else. And don't worry, if you forget the password, just let us know, give us a call, email us, and we can reset that password for you, no problem. Okay, so let's go back, now that you know how to do this, let's go back to music preferences, all right? So um, before we get into anything you know specific, or we'll go through the specifics as we go through, let's go through, we'll just review the entire page. At the very top of the page, you'll see this drop-down menu that says One Morning Radio. If you click on the side of it, you'll see that there are five different options here. One's the morning radio, afternoon radio, night radio, and two other sets of preferences. Essentially what this is, each one of these allows you to set up a different set of music preferences that you can select from. One that could play in the morning, one that could play in the afternoon, one that could play in the night, two others for, say, Halloween and uh, Christmas. It doesn't matter. You can just pick those. And then what? I'll show you how those work here in a little bit. But you can also change the names of these things. So in case you don't want this to be morning radio, but you want it to say something else, let's say you want to call it breakfast radio. You go over here and you save your changes. And when it reboots, you'll see... Come on. 
that it is now changed to breakfast radio. And obviously we don't want to keep that forever, but you can see it's very simple. Now you can see in this list breakfast radio, afternoon and night radio. So I will change this back to morning radio and save my changes. All right. Now, so the rest of the options on this page now are just for morning radio. And you can see here on the right hand side a little handy pie chart to show you all of the different genres of music that have been selected for this particular time of day or this particular uh, pro uh, set of preferences and the percentages by weight of how much of each kind of music is being played the most. So you'll see 25. The 25% 25 here is 1990s pop uh, number one hits. Um, there's a whole lot of them. If we we'll scroll down here, you can see more. There's a whole lot on the side. You can select your music styles over here, um, and there are a ton of them. You can see there are just a bundle of them, probably 50 of them. And uh, once you check the boxes on the left-hand side, these little uh, areas pop up on the right-hand side. So if you want, if you love top 10 airplay and you want it to be more, you just move that slider over to the right, and uh, and it will increase the top 10 airplay percentages once you hit save your changes. I'm not going to hit any save your changes right now, but that's as easy as it goes. All you have to do, I want more of it, you slide to the right. You want less of it, you slide to the left. You want none of it, you just uncheck top 10 airplay and it disappears. Okay, so we're going to scroll down to the bottom and show you a couple of other interesting things. Lots of different genres you can see. When you get there, you can go through them and we'll be happy to send you a list of the songs that are in there if you're, if you're interested. Um, there are thousands of songs, so it might be quite a long list, but we can do that if you want. You'll notice there are some Christmas songs here, too. We're going to add in some Halloween songs, some uh, patriotic songs uh, to help make sure you can kind of craft your show to make it sound exactly the way you want, depending on the time of year and the holiday you're trying to, uh, to go. There's two that I really want to highlight. This one's Silence. If you check this one, usually you want to play Silence, obviously, all by itself. Uh, and why would you want to do that? A lot of the, my customers like to have at the end of the day, as soon as the store closes, music stops. And when the music stops, it's a not so subtle reminder to your shoppers that the day is over. It's time for them to leave. Uh, and so yeah, you might want to um, put silence in as, uh, as, uh, as the, uh, to play at the very end of the day. And this one is the most important, the one that I find so great. Uh, since we started this business, songs with explicit language pop up when you least expect it. In songs, you would never expect to have explicit language, but of course your shoppers hear every single word. And in our last uh, system, we didn't have really a way of blocking out explicit language. Well, as soon as we add in a song, every time we do, there's a little place in our system that allows us to tell it whether it has explicit language or not. And so we go through with a fine tooth comb and make sure that all the songs that have possibly explicit language are marked. And so all you have to do is check this one box and all songs with explicit language are out of your show, never to be heard. It makes it very, 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 very simple. Below that, number of ads, number of songs between ads, and the number of songs between jingles. This is essentially how often uh, you're going to have a commercial break. So in this case, for every commercial break, when the break occurs, three of your ads will play in a row before the songs come back. On this side, it shows that every two songs, there, after every two songs, there will be a commercial break. And then this one down here, the number of songs between jingles, there are two types of messages we can play in your show, ads and jingles. Ads are typically your normal commercial, 15, 30 seconds long, tells your customers about what's going on and the great things they need to know about. And the other one, a jingle, is essentially just a radio identifier. You're listening to Goodwill Radio. Thanks for shopping at Hometown Radio, or whatever it happens to be. Now, in this case, uh, you're just going to have one identifier every five songs and three ads that play every two songs. That's how this particular morning radio one is set up. It makes sense, right? Below that, you'll see this grid. This is how you schedule the different ones. All of these number ones here correlate to morning radio, number one. All the number twos correlate to afternoon radio. All the number threes correlate to night radio. And there are no fours and fives down there at the bottom, but I'll show you how to change that. If you go down here to the bottom, you'll see that from 3 a.m. to 11 a.m., morning radio is going to play every single day of the week. 
And from 12 to 6, afternoon radio is going to play. And from 7 to 2 a.m., evening or night radio is going to play. You can change these pretty simply by simply clicking on this number, whichever number, and changing it to whichever one you want. If you want to keep number one going all day long, which a lot of my clients do, you just got to go through and change each one of these to number one, and it will make those changes for you. All right? I'll change all these back to let them do it themselves. And this is like, for instance, if your store closed at 6 o'clock at night, this is where you would put in like silence. So for instance, you could change number four or number five up here at the top to after hours, uh, silence, some other name, take out all of these songs and replace it simply with silence. And that's what you'll get. You'll get a, a bunch of deep silence so that the rest of your shoppers know it's time to leave. And when you're done, you just save your changes and all of those changes will be set. Now, why would you need an afternoon or evening radio? Well, most of my clients do just use one mix for the entire day. But some, let's say you have uh, lots of senior citizens that you know sh show up as soon as you open the doors. But later in the afternoon, you get a lot of college kids from the local college, and they like hipper music. You could set it so that in the morning, the senior citizens get songs that senior citizens like, and in the afternoon, you get songs that the college kids like. It just depends. You know your customers better than we do, so you can have uh, that kind of um, uh, flexibility to change your show in that way. So let's move on, because I think you've got this one pretty good. We're going to move on to ads and jingles. So if you go to the top of the screen and click on ads and jingles, which we did, this page is much simpler than the Music Preferences tab. So at the top, you have the controls that allow you to upload your own ads. Of course, since we will produce any of the ads for you for free, you probably won't be creating too many on your own. However, if you do, or you have some that you've uh, produced earlier you want to throw into the show, you can use many different file types with the system. Uh, you'll see here MP3s, AACs, AIFs, M4As, MP4s, which is actually video files that you can actually just upload and we'll just use the sound from it, SND and WAV files. So if you just click on the Select Files button, a pop-up window will appear. You pick any one of the files you want. You click Open, and uh, well, let's pick one of these and do it. We'll try this uh, Flying Home for Christmas. This is a song, but it is an audio file. Uh, obviously, you won't be uploading any uh, audio uh, files for... Um, uh, uh, for this particular case, we would, uh, or excuse me, not songs, you would want to have advertisements, but let's click on it and you'll see what happens. You'll see here a list will start to show up and you can actually click select files again, add another one and, and keep adding to the list until you have a long list if you have lots of ads. We're going to do that uh, here on our end. You probably won't. You're only going to pick one. And once you do that, you click the box, upload files, and you'll see the percentages start to count up as it's uploading to our servers right now. And once that finishes, I'll show you uh, what happens. So let's go down to the existing media window while that's counting up. Down here in the existing media window, it shows you the file name uh, of the file you've uploaded, the dates for which the ad will play. Uh, so if you have an ad that you only want to play during the month of March, for instance, you would set the date starting on March 1st and ending on March 31st. Uh, and then this on hold button, if you click the, uh, the hold button, uh, you select this and the ad will not play, but the ad will stay on your servers until you need the ad to play. For instance, if you have a set of ads, oh, it finished uploading. Uh, for instance, if you have a set of ads that only play at Christmas time, you can set those ads to play from uh, the end of November through Christmas day. Oh, it's gonna redo this whole thing, that's fine. Uh, you can set it to play from uh, the end of November to Christmas Day, and then they go off the air, and then you can set each of those as ads to be on hold throughout the rest of the year so that they don't uh, play randomly until you have time and you know when you want to, uh, to uh, schedule them again, so when you schedule them for next year. The next two fields are file type and upload date. Uh, they're just informational. Uh, they help you keep track of the types of files you have and when you uploaded them originally. This is actually really handy when you're trying to figure out if, uh, if you have older ads that you might want to update. It, you know, that, that really helps a lot. And that's basically all you need to know about the master profile. 
Uh, but let me show you real quick how you would make the changes between jingles and ads. Uh, what you'll see here, Goodwill Radio tag one, two, three, four, and five. There are five options of uh, for this particular customer, uh, a, a, an ad that says you're listening to Goodwill Radio, and those would be jingles. So over here you would select jingle as I've already done here. You could change it to an ad, but in this case we're going to change it to jingle. And these will only play, uh, as we mentioned on the first page, after every five songs. It will pick between any one of these jingles to play uh, in your show. Then below that, each one of these other ads has been identified as an actual ad. And so that's essentially all you have to do is make sure that when you do upload a new file, you have to identify it as an ad or a jingle. So let's go down to the bottom here since I did add that song that we don't want to keep, Flying Home for Christmas. All you got to do to delete it is press the delete button. This little message pops up. You say OK. And seconds later, it's gone. Easy, right? Now, let's talk about you have ads that you don't want to play until March or you don't want to play until February. You don't want to play until Christmas. All you have to do is hit schedule playtime. When you hit schedule playtime, a little uh, box pops up at the bottom and you can see here's where you can change the date of when it will play uh, and the times of day when it will play even. Most of the time you want it to play all day long. Maybe you have specific ads that you only want to play particular times of day. You can do that. You can say play this for the next 10 years like this is, but I only want it to play between 6 o'clock at night and 8 o'clock at night. Uh, in case you know, hey, the end of the day is coming up, make sure you you uh, you get your purchases and bring them to the register. All those can be done here as you select it. And that's pretty much simple. When you're done, save your changes. Easy. So now, we went over the player and we went over your data. That essentially covers everything that we need to talk about for master profiles. Um, so there are two types of store-specific profiles like I talked about before. The type you will most likely be using is the one that is connected to a master profile. These profiles, when opened, will only show options for ads and jingles. And this is for the store-specific profiles, excuse me. The store-specific profiles, when opened, will only show options for ads and jingles. You will not see this music preferences thing. So as a matter of fact, let me see if I can sign us into one. I think that's right. Hey, look at that, it did. So as you can see, we have logged into a particular store for the Goodwill Industries of Northern Arizona, and you'll see there's no music preferences tab here, just ads and jingles, a player tab, and a your data tab. So on all, you're gonna have many, many profiles uh, because you have multiple locations. Your master is the one you'll do most of the work with, but each specific location, we would like for you to go in and go like you did with a master and change the your data information. And what would be great is, as you can see, this one's located at 963 West Route 66 in Flagstaff, Arizona. Andrew Morano is the uh, contract contact person, and this is his email address. And we haven't put his phone number or contact information, but if you are Andrew Morano, if you'll put that information in for us, that would be great. And if, what we would like for you to do is to go in and put in the manager, someone we can contact if there's something that uh, we need to contact them about just uh, at that particular store. It would be handy for us to have all that information. You can do that all right here. And again, we'll send you logins and passwords and we want you to make your new passwords for that. If we click on player, like I told you before, there was no player information before. Uh, this basically gives you some information about what's going on with the player. Uh, the player for this store I don't think is connected at this very moment, so you don't see any information at the bottom. But once it is connected, you will see uh, a log of the songs that are playing and have played over the last 30 minutes or so. So if somebody says, hey, I heard a song I like, or hey, I heard a song I don't like, you can easily go to this, this uh, log and check it out. But the ads and jingles, what this allows you to do is the master will control and feed 
all of the ads that you've loaded to the master. But let's say in one particular case in Flagstaff West, for instance, this one location is having a job fair and they want to advertise, hey, come to this location because we're going to have a job fair next week. But you only want to play it in this location. If you select files and upload them just to this location, not only will it play all the songs from the master, or excuse me, all the ads from the master profile, it will also play the ads from this profile as well so that you can really, really customize your show so that the customers in every single uh, store get their own special set of ads if that's what you want to do. Uh, and that's really the only really difference between um, a master profile and an individual store profile. And that's pretty much how this control panel works. So there you have it, a quick overview of in-store radio's online control panel. Give us a call if you have any questions. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.